Avocado, the crop that tastes like tradition. With the cultivation of avocado, it's very important to take into account where the plant material comes from. Generally, you begin by buying trees from greenhouses that have been registered with ICA and that have a monitoring guarantee from an entity that covers all phytosanitary needs. Then, you check the quality of the seed, the size and the thickness of its stems, the condition of the grafts, and the size of the sprouts. From this, we know if it has a good color, good development, good texture, and well-developed leaves. One expects the greenhouse to have a well-developed cultivation. The buds will be removed from the garden and will be taken to the greenhouse. Here, they will go through a selection process. If we find a sick plant, it must be retired immediately in order to guarantee excellent quality sprouts. Here we are at the place where we classify the seeds in the greenhouse. This is the place all the seeds arrive to after leaving their place of origin. It's the place where we collect the seeds for the greenhouse. These seeds must come from very healthy trees, trees that are classified, ones without phytosanitary problems. After making a selection there, the seeds are brought here, where again, they go through a selection process regarding size, and where we also check if any seed has arrived spoiled, either cut or damaged by a machine or ruined due to mold or fungus. If so, they must be removed, allowing only the good seeds to remain. Then we weigh it, classifying it by size and weight. The seed that weighs over 50 grams will go through the whole process of then finally being planted in the field. Once the seed has been classified, a disinfection using chemical products takes place and there it will remain for 15 to 30 minutes. After the seed has been kept 30 minutes in the fungicide solution, we then move on to what is the pre-germination beds, which are clean beds made of sand from the river. We are here at the place where the germination or pre-germination of the seed takes place. We're going to dampen the bed in order to plant the seed. These beds must be disinfected 15 days beforehand, so by the time the seed is planted, gases won't be able to affect the seed. After having dampened the bed, we can begin planting the seed. After planting the seeds in the sand, we start carrying out what will be 30 to 90 days of the pre-germination process. We start to water frequently, depending on the temperature of the day, continuously checking until seeds sprout in order to then transplant them into the bag. Here, we then bring the bags, the pre-germinated seeds. These must be brought as soon as they start to sprout, so that the root can stay short, very short. And then, it's placed in what we call a nursery, the bag with the prepared substrate. This substrate comes mixed, and it must be aired, so that water may drain out easily. The fruit tree nurseries must comply with some requirements that are regulated by ICA. These requirements are placing plants in an elevated location, not directly on the ground. They must receive fresh air and sunlight. And it's also essential for them to be covered under a roof. In other words, for the cultivation to be protected. This is done because the avocado tree is very sensitive to root diseases, so they must be taken out so that they don't retain too much humidity. These bags have special requirements, such as width, 
which can be of around 25 centimeters when completely expanded, with a diameter of around 18 centimeters, a minimum height of 45 centimeters, and it should have at least three-fourths of the lower section perforated, so it can have good drainage. Once the seeds start to sprout, they must then go to a height of 40 to 50 centimeters, as well as grow thick as a pencil in order to do the graft. This graft is done at a height of 20 to 30 centimeters. On top of the rootstock, we place the cup or pole, which is then covered with a plastic bag in order to conserve the humidity necessary, as well as a paper bag so it doesn't dehydrate due to the sun's rays. A month after doing the graft, you take off the bag and look. Those that are on, you leave uncovered and allow them to grow. Once they're growing, you must carry out the first pruning. That means you must cut all the lateral branches that stick out, or all those that grow from the ground up until the rootstock. Once it's reached a height of 15 centimeters, you place the tutor, or stake, which consists of a small pole that helps the plant grow as straight as possible. Here, we have an irrigation system, since you must water all plants. The irrigation system here is a drip system, and we take advantage of this system to fertilize. Fertilization must be as complete as possible. This is based on a substrate analysis. To this analysis, we apply nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and magnesium, and we also complete it with minor elements such as iron, manganese, copper, boron, and zinc, in order for the plant to develop the best way possible. When the avocado tree is between 30 to 45 centimeters high, as measured from the graft up to the apex, these can be transplanted to the field. Before doing this, one must first choose the area of planting and proceed to do a soil analysis. So here you cut, then you throw away this side. Cut here, then throw away. Then you take out this sample from the middle, the first, horizontal A. In other words, you take out the sample from 0 to 30 centimeters. This is a subsample, and in a big lot such as this one here, you should take out 15 to 20 samples, the more the better. Afterwards, you mix all that earth and take out a sample of roughly one kilo. Then you take that to the lab. What should the sample have at the lab? It should have the name of the farm, the municipality, the names of the owner and the technical assistant, what crop was there before, and what the sample earth will be used for. Then, in that same hole, you can do the infiltration tests, where you pour in water, filling it at least halfway, and then you measure the time it takes for the earth to absorb it, to absorb all the water as it filters into the ground. If it's summer, then you do this twice in a row in order to saturate the soil, because we know that the earth will absorb the water right away in summertime, but as soon as it's soaked, you can calculate how much it is, Therefore, you must also look at the sides of the hole to see that there are no layers of clay or rock or anything, and see if the earth is loose and ideal for avocado. Once the lots are chosen and the requirements have been met, you trace the space. It's good to trace north to south and east to west in order for the plants to get a good deal of light, since the avocado tree loves to have lots of light, lots of sun. They function better, and they flower and develop much better if they get lots of sun. Once the land lot has been defined, the planting density is chosen. It can be of a low, medium, or high density, depending on the weather, climate, management, and quantity of production. Now that the planting density has been defined, you dig the earth. You leave five, six, or seven meters. You dig the holes. The hole doesn't have to be too big. It must be three times the size of the bag. In other words, a hole that is 50 by 50 is enough to plant an avocado tree. With the soil analysis that had been previously done in order to choose the lot, the necessary amendments are made. If the area is low on copper, we apply copper or zinc 
and give it the lime or magnesium silicate amendments, whatever we need to make sure the soil is in optimum condition. At the moment of planting, it's good to add the mycorrhizae. These mycorrhizae must remain in direct contact with the roots of the tree, the bag, because these help. They do a double action. They help the root and the fungus, and they help the roots stretch out. When you plant, you have to have the delicacy of filling in and stepping on the ground. Every 10 to 15 centimeters, you step on the ground. And once it's filled in, you make a little mountain or terrace on the spot you're going to plant, so that it in no way gets wet or inundated with water. There, you plant the seed evenly with the ground, without too much soil on top. The seed must almost be visible. It's very important that the area where the tree is planted remains clean. During the first year, it's necessary to fertilize monthly, starting at 25 to 50 grams, slowly increasing the amount until reaching 200 to 250 grams at the end of the year. Another important job is pruning. If you have high or medium densities, then you have to prune almost since the time of planting, placing a steady stake at least two meters high so you can tie the tree to it and prune the tree. You should have only one axis when you're dealing with high densities so that the tree is shaped into a pyramid or pine tree like a Christmas tree, a little wide in the bottom and narrower at the top. Pruning takes time and you must know how to do them. You must train people to do them. Not everyone can prune a tree, because if you do it the wrong way, you can damage it. Pruning an avocado tree is almost as good as properly fertilizing it. The production of avocado in this southeastern area has two harvests, the regular crop and the low crop. The regular crop takes place from December until January, February, or March. The harvest then stops, and then the low crop is ready at around July, August, September, extending perhaps until October. The ideal way to collect avocado is with a basket, since placing them in a bag can cause harm to the fruit, thus arriving damage to the market. Also, when collecting the fruit, you should cut it at the stalk using a pair of scissors. The fruit that we have here is very ripe and very, very shiny. It is a fruit that is still not ready to collect. The ideal fruit for collection is at this point where the fruit is green, a dark green, showing us it's ready to pick. I tell people that the first thing to do is to do a good budget. How many trees do you want to plant and how much money do you have? Buy good materials with good characteristics, preferably materials that are reputable in the region so you can carry out a successful harvest. <laughs>